Throughout the history of humankind, the prosperity of human societies has been linked closely to water. The quality of water we use and drink determines in large part quality of our lives. Clean water is essential to the health and well-being of people, preserving the integrity of the natural environment and sustaining our economies. However, in many parts of the world, water is not always clean enough for safe human use. The quality of water is becoming ever more important as freshwater resources and aquatic ecosystems are severely degraded across the world. The degradation of water quality in rivers, streams, lakes, and underground aquifers is threatening human lives and the integrity of valuable ecosystems. It is also jeopardizing the availability of clean water for human and environmental needs. Lack of access to clean water is responsible for the deaths of millions annually. Every year, around 2 million people, mostly the poor and children, die from waterborne diseases. Our beautiful Mother Nature is suffering from water pollution no less than humans do. The impact of water pollution on the environment is already evident in many parts of the world, especially on aquatic ecosystems and biodiversity. Freshwater ecosystems are undergoing a radical decline and an unprecedented loss of biodiversity. Freshwater ecosystems comprise less than 1% of the Earth's surface. They provide habitats for over 10% of aquatic species. Life of 126,000 species depend on freshwater ecosystems. Yet, many species are disappearing every day due to water pollution and other forms of stress on water resources. The negative impact of water quality degradation extends beyond human and environmental health. Economic costs incurred by poor water quality can make up as much as 2.5% of GDP in some countries where large populations live without access to clean water and sanitation. The more water we use, the more we pollute. As a world population grows, water pollution will lead to a water quality crisis further leading to a real threat to sustainable development, unless appropriate action is taken. How extensively is water quality degradation occurring across the world? What needs to be done to protect our precious water resources from pollution and degradation? How can we reduce the real threat to our health and ecosystems caused by ever-increasing water pollution? UNESCO's International Hydrological Program has been addressing these issues by promoting cutting-edge research, international scientific cooperation, capacity development, and science-based policies for protecting water quality, for poverty reduction, and sustainable livelihoods. As water pollution is becoming ever more severe, UNESCO is increasingly paying more attention to reducing water pollution in urban areas and agriculture. With population growth, rapid urbanization, and land use change, the water pollution trend has intensified and the number of diverse pollutants entering our water resources has multiplied. In most developing cities, municipal wastewater collection is limited to only a small area. As much as around 90% of the collected wastewater is discharged directly into rivers, groundwater aquifers, and coastal with little or no treatment. The biggest source of water pollution is agriculture, being responsible for about 70% of global water use and for an equal share of total water pollutant loads. Due to eutrophication and excessive nutrient in water, numerous lakes and coastal areas have been turned into dead zones. Millions of tons of chemical fertilizers and pesticides enter our rivers and lakes and seep into soil and groundwater. UNESCO works closely with its member states in addressing water quality challenges. UNESCO promotes the leading experiences of the Republic of Korea in water quality management and improving the quality of water resources and ecosystems. Through its water management future direction, Korea is striving to restore the aquatic ecosystem by turning rivers into ecological streams and forming riverine ecobelts. It has led to better self-purification of rivers and enhancing their water quality. This approach brought about other side benefits, such as a reduced urban temperature and more natural spaces provided to city dwellers. Since 2003, Korea has applied the Water Contamination Management System 
total maximum daily load to its four major rivers. By regulating the total amount of pollutants and organic matters generated from watershed, the system encourages economic development within the capacity of our natural systems, and this has led to improved water quality in rivers. An emerging concern over water quality for human and environmental health is associated with chemicals in water and wastewater, such as pharmaceuticals and endocrine disrupting compounds. The life cycle of these chemicals extends well beyond the use for which they were originally intended. Many seep into the soil, air, rivers, and sea. The UNESCO case study in Tula Valley in Mexico indicates that many chemicals are now present in water and the wider environment. As a result, humans and ecosystems are being continuously exposed to these pollutants. This is an area where UNESCO is leading international scientific cooperation and promoting research on scientific and policy approaches in order to tackle this invisible threat. The Ministry of Environment in Korea is also making efforts to reduce possible risks that can affect human body and ecosystem caused by exposure to chemical pollutants. By 2015, the Ministry intends to set up Ecological Risk Evaluation System which will be applied to public waters around industrial complex for the risk evaluation. Also, an ecological toxicity management system will be run, aiming to create ecologically safe and sound aquatic environment. The core of UNESCO's action in addressing water quality challenges lies in mobilizing scientific knowledge and policy to protect water quality for poverty reduction and securing sustainable livelihoods. Developing human and technical capacities is necessary to enable countries to improve their water quality. The regional consultations and knowledge sharing on water quality conducted by UNESCO in Africa, Asia, and Arab regions have been an important stepping stone to finding solutions for crucial water quality issues at the global and regional levels, and has provided a platform for the exchange of knowledge, information, and good practices. UNESCO as a lead UN agency with a mandate on water sciences and education, is firmly committed to working closely with its member states to help countries to attain the Millennium Development Goals and pursue sustainable development. Water is a most precious natural resource and the source of all life forms on Earth. Without water, there is no life. Let us protect our precious water.